Hey, Tim Huckert here. And in this video, I'm just going to create a short video on how to install packages with Melpa in Emacs. So I'm going to fire up Emacs here. And see it starts up. And I'm going to type uh, the Alt key in X. And then at the bottom here, I'll just type package list packages. Okay. It's going to take a moment and list the packages. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the alt key in X again, or meta key in X and uh, type package install. Okay. And it's going to prompt me to install a package. So I think I want to install the Adam one dark theme. So let's do Adam. And then, uh, then I think if I hit return, it's going to give me uh, the possibilities. And you'll see the possible completions are the Adam Dark theme and Adam One Dark theme. I think I'm going to go with the One Dark theme. And I'm going to go ahead and it uh, goes ahead and installs. Um, let's take a look and let's get some other themes actually. So let's search for Emacs uh, themes. Okay. And uh, maybe, maybe best Emacs themes. Okay. And all right, let's go to this one, the top 73 Emacs themes. So I've got Zen Burn. I just got Adam One Dark. Um, let's see. Uh, GitHub. I've already installed GitHub. Night Owl. Let's see, let's click on Night Owl and see if we can install this. Now this will tell you if you can install it via Melpa. Uh, and yes, you can. So again, we're going to follow these directions. So I'm going to go Alt X package install. And then I'm going to type night. And let's see our completions. Uh, just just installed the night package. I didn't want that. I wanted night owl. Um, let's try that again. Package install. Okay. Um, let's do night. Uh, I guess it installed night owl. Let's see. Um, let's do control G, quit out of there, alt X and toggle the menu mode. And then from here, I'm going to go to options. This is how I changed themes. So custom themes and oh, it did in, it completed the night owl for me. So it installed that installed Adam one dark. Let's try that. It's going to ask you, do you want loading a theme you can run Lisp code really load? I'm going to say yes. Treat this theme as safe in future sessions. I'm going to say yes. And we've got the one dark theme, Adam one dark. Okay. Let's try night owl again. Yes. And yes. And Ooh, that's, that's dark. That's kind of nice. All right, so um, if I go back here and I go to package uh, list packages, you'll see that um, in a moment, it's going to pop up and be a ton of packages that I can get. There are uh, a ton and ton. So you can do um, stuff for our remote servers. Um, I have web mode installed. You notice another one I have installed. If we go up here, I think I saw evil, evil mode um, for Vim mode. Installed that. There's a bunch of evil ones here. Um, oh, evil commentary. Oh, evil commentary. Comment stuff out. Ah, okay. I want to get that actually. So I'm going to uh, click on this. I can also click on this and also click install. It says install package, evil commentary. Yes. Okay. And um, I think it installed that. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, we can do abyss theme. Let's see what else we could get. Uh, we could get PHP stuff. I do stuff in PHP, so that might be helpful. Oh, they do have PHP mode. Um, electron, uh, auto indent mode, bunch of stuff, bibliotech documents you can install. Um, 
C make I saw there. Companies one like an auto completion one, I think. Uh, C table, C tags, uh, C Cython mode, uh, Cython files, not Python, Cython. Okay. Um, there's stuff for Dear Ed that we passed. There's a ton of stuff. Okay. Um, if you want to uninstall a package, you can do package safe delete and then the name of the package, and that will remove it as well. So, so um, that's a little bit about installing packages with Melpa and Emacs. If you have questions about it, leave comments in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And I hope you have a great day.